Hello mathematicians, thank you for joining me today as we look at what well, we're going to let A be the set of matrices of size 2 by 2 with real entries. And what we want to show is that the usual matrix multiplication is an operation on the set. So in order to show it's an operation, what we need to do is we need to show that if we consider it a mapping from A squared to A, then this should be a well-defined mapping. That is, for everything in the domain, it gets mapped to exactly one thing in the range. Therefore, what I want to think about is, what do things in A look like, or what do 2x2 two two matrices look like? So I'm going to say, let A be an element of A. Then what that's going to look like is, it's going to be a 2x2 two two matrix. Let's say A sub 1, 1, A sub 1, 2, A sub 2, 1, A sub 2, 2 where each of these a sub 1, 1, a sub 1, 2, a sub 2, 1, and a sub 2, 2 is our real numbers. So that is we're going to have a matrix with real entries. And if I pick another element in there, let's call it B, that's going to look the same except it'll be B sub 1, 1, B sub 1, 2, B sub 2, 1, B sub 2, 2. And so what I need to know is that if I take A times B, then I'm going to end up with exactly one answer in A. That is, I can't get out two answers, I can't get out zero. We get out exactly one thing in A. So in order to do that, we really just have to find, well, what is A times B? All right, so if I take A times B, what I get is this times this is using matrix multiplication. It's just A11 times B11 plus A12 times B21. Then the first row, second column is going to be the first row times the second column here. So A11 and B12 plus A12, B22. And if I continue on, I get that the multiplication ends up with this thing here. Notice that this is indeed a 2 by 2 matrix. And so the only thing left to check is that each of the elements are real numbers. So now if I look at this, I take A11 times B11. Notice that these are both real numbers. So the product of real numbers is again a real number. Same thing here. This is a real number. And then we're adding them together. So the sum of two real numbers is again a real number. Therefore, what we found was that when we multiplied these two things, we took two elements from A, we multiplied, we got out something else in A, or at least something in A. We get a 2 by 2 matrix where each of these entries are real. So this is indeed an operation on the set of matrix. While talking about matrix multiplication, I would also wonder, is matrix multiplication commutative or not? That is, does the order matter? And so if I want to figure that out, well, I should actually try some things and see if it is commutative, and if it is, I'll have to give a proof. But if it's not, then maybe I'll come up with a counterexample, which would be my proof. So now to worry about commutativity, I'm going to just start off with some arbitrary matrices. I like easy ones, so I'm going to start off with 1, 0, 0, 0, and then I'm going to go with 0, 1, 0, 0. So if I look at these two matrices, they're relatively easy, and I just want to know, are they commutative? Notice I don't want to pick the same number, or same matrix rather, because A times A is just going to be A times A, so obviously that's going to commute. So I do want to pick different ones, but I still want to start off easy and see what happens. Now, if I take these and multiply as written, I get the first row times the first column is 1 times 0 plus 0 times 0 is 0. Then I get 1 times 1 plus 0 times 0 is 1. And then I'm going to get 0 times something plus 0 times something. So both of these are going to be 0. So on the one hand, I got 1, 0, 0, 0 times 0, 1, 0, 0 is 0, 1, 0, 0. Now to continue with the check, we're going to switch the order. So I have 0, 1, 0, 0 and 1, 0, 0, 0 and see what happens when I multiply those. This row times this column is going to be 0 times 1 plus 1 times 0 is indeed 0. And then I'm going to get 0 times 0 plus 1 times 0 is 0. And again, I'm going to get 0 times something plus 0 times something is 0 and 0 for the second row. And what you'll notice is that I got a different answer. So because I got a different answer, that means that, well, the order does matter, so therefore this is non-commutative. So what I found is one example of two by two matrices where the multiplication was not commutative. Therefore, that's how we would show that matrix multiplication is non-commutative. Now, 
As opposed to writing up the formal proofs on the board here and running out of room, I'll refer you to the written blog post to say, well, let's put all of that information that we came up with together into a formal written statement, and you can see how that works out there. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel.